right, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I get why tires have to be round. <laughs> they wouldn't work any other way. But in the end, they always go flat. <laughs> There's no way round it. Hey, you know the Earth spins at a thousand miles an hour, right? <laughs> yes, it does. I have no idea either. You just can't feel it. It seems the faster you spin, the less you feel it. I guess the reason I get sick on carnival rides is that they don't spin fast enough. That's gotta be it. That makes sense. Hey, isn't it amazing how all these orbiters fly around in space at crazy speeds? Yeah, right? Look at the ISS. They have it set on cruise control at 17,000 miles an hour. No problem. It can handle it. It's been doing it for 18 years. No problem. Yeah, my truck is 18 years old and sounds like it's going to explode doing 50 down the highway. So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just not driving it fast enough. <laughs> anyway, what's really amazing about space is the great Wi-Fi they have out there. I wish I had it. If I drive 10 miles out of the city, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'd be happy to pay more. You know, I'd pay double for that plan. No problem. And, and did you know that satellites can withstand thousands of degree swings in temperature? I had no idea. I wish my truck was made of satellite metal. <laughs> right? My truck doesn't like to start in the winter. And in the summer, it overheats. So why don't they just build cars and trucks with high quality satellite metal? Right? I bet that would solve it. <laughs> and plus, if I could go a billion miles without breaking down, I'd buy it for sure. And just imagine all the other uses for metal that won't melt. said it was heat that weakened the steel to bring World Trade Center 7 down. I bet satellite metal could have helped with the heat part. Mm, not sure how it would hold up to the demolition charges though. Yeah, so how about gravity? Yeah, gravity is amazing, right? But what I still don't understand is how it erases the feeling of being upside down. How does it do it? We know when we're upside down, right? Turn me upside down and certain things start to happen. I become uncomfortable pretty quick. Okay, so how does gravity erase the feeling of being upside down? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. All right, so when you're in Australia, you're upside down, right? Exactly. All the blood rushing to your head. <laughs> How does gravity stop that? Okay, so when you're on a flight from Australia to Canada, what happens? Does gravity do a reverse and make the blood rush to your feet? <laughs> You know what I mean? There has to be a calculation for that, right? There always is. Maybe it's when you take a 12-hour flight, drink a 12-pack of Fosters, and divide it by the wobble. Yeah, so if the Earth spins at a thousand, and it flies around the sun at 66,000 and the sun, earth, and everything else fly around at 450,000 <laughs> but wait I was just outside the club and not a single hair on my head blew around 
I guess I must be using the good kind of hairspray. ISS hairspray. <laughs> ISS hairspray. Yeah. Because only ISS hairspray can hold it up in space. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's hard to keep up with all the space missions. There are so many these days. <laughs> yeah, China has landed this cool-looking rover here on the dark side of the moon. Yeah, I know, it looks like a good one. I think it's fully loaded, although it doesn't seem to have a CD player on it. That's too bad, because you know what I'd be playing. <laughs> Who took the picture? <laughs> yeah. I guess the camera crew got there first, like they always do. <laughs> you know, I thought space communication technology had advanced a lot since the 60s. But this thing needs its own satellite up there somewhere to communicate. You know, I think they had better technology back in the 60s. Right? <laughs> yeah, this is a classic. This is a 60s moon lander, the best kind ever made. Isn't it amazing? All the best material. And could carry that awesome moon dune buggy. Yeah, the 60s were great. We had a lot of fun exploring the moon. But that was child's play. Now we can go way out to the farthest edge of the universe.
days and night. That New Horizons spacecraft flew billions of miles to get out to the edge of the universe. And it took a picture of an asteroid we have never seen before. Check this out. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy suit With a front cup pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal We're making new discoveries all the time now. And did you guys know about all the ice on Mars? I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, just under the dusty surface here on Mars are thick sheets of ice. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. I guess this machine has figured it out somehow. What is this thing anyway? Is it the rover? Is it the lander? I don't know. I don't see any drilling equipment on it. Maybe it can see down through the ground somehow. I don't know. Pile of junk. Pile of junk. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a pile of junk. <laughs> Star Wars robot. <laughs> You've been great. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>